Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we are going to talk about some of the very interesting and recent discoveries in the field of environmental biotechnology. There are so many discoveries going on almost every day. However, in this lesson, we are going to talk about only very uh, special, very different discoveries regarding the environmental issues. So, uh, there are so many novel bacteria being discovered almost every day, which have the capacity to degrade toxic carcinogenic and teratogenic compounds. Uh, however, uh, there are certain compounds which are more resistant to uh, degradation and the bacteria which have such abilities are more are of more concern. Now, so for example, bacteria against polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, uh, those have been isolated from different environments and uh, those are very important uh, if you want to remove these pH from the environment. Uh, these polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are basically uh, cyclic hydrocarbons and these are uh, much resistant to degradation. So uh, there are so many different pathways that are utilized in bacteria to degrade such uh, resistant hydrocarbons and a complex system of pathways exist in these bacteria. Other example uh, could be of PCB that is polychlorinated biphenyls. These are against the xenobiotes which are very resistant to degradation and uh, uh, to find bacteria which uh, such abilities to degrade such compounds is very crucial. As we can see here, they are having high level of halogenation, uh, high level of uh, chlorine. Uh, we all know that uh, high level of chlorine and other halogens is toxic to life. So, uh, if we can find bacteria which can not only resist such compounds, such toxic compounds, but can also degrade such toxic compounds, that can be a good application in environmental biotechnology. Uh, much research is being going on in this field. Now, uh, there is a something special with PCB as with some other compounds as well. These are substrates for very few pathways normally occurring in nature. Normally, uh, the compounds, the toxic compounds which are resistant to degradation, those are mostly the compounds which are not normal substrates for natural processes. Bacteria in ko normally apni routine life mein use nahi karta. Bucky organisms, microorganisms and other living things, acid toxic compounds ko normally as a substrate use nahi karte. So, uh, in, in se related pathways bahut kam exist karte in life mein. So, that's why ye bhi wajah hai ki in ko degrade karna aur mushkil ho jata hai. You, so, you have to discover such bacteria, such microorganisms, such organisms that can degrade such compounds. Example, jo yaha di gai hai, that is of Sudamanas Putida, uh, jo ke aspect hua hai water uh, refinery se, uh, refinery ke water outflow se, that has ability to degrade PCB. Uh, PCB ko uh, destroy karne ke liye bacteria different pathways use karta hai usme se do ho sakte hai ek hai TOD pathway jo ke toluene ki degradation ke liye bhi use kiya jata hai you can see here uh, as we discussed before as well uh, many compounds which mimic other compounds structurally can be destroyed can be degraded by the same metabolic pathways uh, present in the bacteria so uh, bacteria can use the already present pathways which it is utilizing to degrade some compounds uh, to get, degrade other compounds as well. The other pathway used is CMT pathway, which is responsible for catabolism of PQ mate. So you can see here, basically, these pathways, uh, these are not meant to uh, destroy this compound. These are meant for other purposes, but they are still being used for this purpose. The mutation which allowed this strain to utilize the CMT pathway was found to be a single base change to the promoter operator sequence. Uh, you can see here that uh, a muta mutation is involved and that mutation is happening uh, in promoter operator uh, region. Uh, promoter is the site where RNA polymerase binds and starts the transcription of a gene and operator are the sites where repressor proteins bind and they block the transcription of the gene. So you can see here that many pathways can be controlled uh, in a different way and if we do that, uh, those pathways can be used to degrade other compounds as well. Now, phthalates, uh, these are the compounds, again, uh, ring structure compounds, and these are substituted single ring phenols. There are so many examples. These are the major chemicals used in the manufacturing of polyester fibers, films, adhesive coatings, and plastic bottles as well. Phthalates are also resistant to degradation, and these are much toxic compounds as well. Uh, very few microorganisms are known that can be used that has the ability to degrade such compounds. Example is given of methanogenic consortium. Consortium is basically a mixture of bacteria which work together uh, to achieve certain goals, certain objective. So you can see here, methanogenic consortium of over 
hundred bacteria clones with the capability of to digest uh, triphthalate has been discovered. So you can see here, this is a very toxic compound, very resistant to degradation. Uh, so what scientists have done, they have actually combined hundred plus methanogens and these uh, different bacteria, different species of methanogens, they work together to degrade these compounds. So you can see here, the more toxic the compound is, the more resistant the compound is to degradation. The more uh, uh, you have look uh, to find microorganisms, and more you have look into, you have to look into more ways and means that you can use different microorganisms and these systems to degrade such toxic compounds, which are not only toxic but resistant to degradation as well.